Hello again folks and welcome to Black Bear Outdoors with me Delta Sierra and uh, the Rural Deputy. Today we've got something really special for you and we are of course talking about a couple of Shadow Systems pistols here. Now if I remember correctly Shadow Systems was one of the companies like Zev Technologies or so that uh, gucci out locks for people for a number of years and they had a very very good reputation for that. Uh, roll in the uh, patent kind of going away for the Glock uh, Gen 3s and they're producing their own pistols. So the big question really is here, is it a Gucci Glock or is it a, a beast on its own? Uh, what do you think of these guys? I have yet to actually shoot one or really spend much time with it. They're, with, with the Gucci Glock, stigma, they were always a little fancy for me to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I'd scratch it, get it dirty. I don't know if, where you put the hubcats on it. I, I, I don't know. See, but the, again, you know, Gucci or not, it's still a tool, so it's going right. to get scratched up and stuff like that. Uh, so the ones we got here today is the DR920, which is the full size, and of course the MR920. Now the war poet himself, John Lovell, actually carries an MR920 instead of the uh, Glock that he was used to, right? And he, that he raved about for a while. So it must must say something good about them. Um, do you want to run through the features real quick? Yeah, let's see what we got. All right, so uh, we'll look at the MR here because this is the fancier one of the two. Uh, you can see it's got some really nice cuts on the slide. It's got some lightning cuts in there as well. It's got that, uh, I forget what you call the coating on the barrel, but it's supposed to make it slick and uh, very, very durable. And it's got a uh, threaded barrel as well. So if you want to put a suppressor or a muzzle brake or something uh, on there, you can do that. Looks like the rail that they've got on there is pretty much a Glock rail. Uh, but that also allows you to put in lights, lasers, whatever you want. And I really like the stippling that you got on there because you actually have some stippling where your th support and thumb goes if you're right-handed, not left-handed. And maybe it's got some on the other side. Some of them are backwards. <laughs> um, got some really nice sights on them. Some all sun optics on there. So uh, yeah, they should be good shooters. Um, you can al almost already see the grip angle is slightly different from a Glock's. So that might make it better in my opinion, because as you guys know, I'm not a great shooter when it comes to Glocks. I like them, but uh, I can't shoot them well. So uh, yeah, that looks like uh, basically a Gucci Glock out the box, right? With a few different things on it. Pretty much. And like these have been kind of donated to the cause for the day by some friends of the channel, Rod, Riley. Uh, Rod has the fancier one, mm -hmm. Riley. He's uh, currently in basic training down at Fort Moore. And awesome. we, we appreciate them letting us use him. Yeah, thank you very much, guys, and uh, thank you for your service, Riley. So, uh, yeah, so let's see if uh, these guys work. You want to take them out for a spin? Yeah, we'll see what they see what they do. I do like the, uh, the top serrations on that slide. Yeah, for sure, because that's going to reduce your glare, too, if you're not using a, a, a dot, right? No, that looks uh, pretty awesome. All right, guys, uh, we're going to shoot the living crap out of them, so stay tuned.
So there you have it guys, we uh, shot quite a few rounds through these and they shoot really, really well. I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed both of them. And they're accurate, they're comfortable to shoot and they've got really fast triggers. They do, the, the trigger is, um, for being a close to clone, the trigger is improved, I like that. It's a short reset, it's a nice crisp break. What I really loved was the back, stra the back straps on them. Mm -hmm. It sits in the hand and for anybody that's run a lot of Glocks, you understand that back strap doesn't let your hand go down far enough on the grip and you kind of get the edge of your finger on this trigger guard. The back strap on this kind of rolls your hand a little bit, sits more comfortably. I really enjoyed it. No, I agree with you. If uh I mean, both of them, the full size and the, the uh, compact one, um, they're actually really good shooters. They are, again, nice and grippy, and the angle is definitely different from a Glock's uh, because I can actually shoot them straight. So that has to account for something, right? No, absolutely impressed with them. Uh, I personally think this is what Glock was supposed to be. Uh, so good on you, Shadow Systems. I think uh, definitely a worthwhile purchase and definitely worth the, uh, the Girl Scout cookies you have to pay for them, right? Actually, yeah. So, yeah. Well, uh, that's what we got for you guys. So if you learned anything new or were slightly entertained, please uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave us a comment down below what your thoughts are on the Shadow Systems guns or maybe your experiences. And remember, uh, supporting us supports everybody in the 2A community to show the YouTube algorithm that this is stuff that you want to see. As always, guys, you all stay safe and we'll see you next time.